Yo, what is going on, people? If it's Ringo Hodge, that fire shit, and today we're talking about what if Jump Force had alternate costumes within the game. Now, with that being said, I don't think the game will have alternate costumes, but I just want to talk about it with you guys and let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree with some of them or what would you guys like to see as far as alternate costumes for some of the characters in this video or maybe a character I have not talked about yet. So let's dive right into it, starting with the Dragon Ball Z characters. Kicking it off with Goku and Vegeta, I feel like they need the resurrection of F suits, the Whis suit. They need those two costumes in the game for Goku and Vegeta. That Whis Gi and that Whis, you know, Saiyan armor just looks absolutely amazing. It is iconic, not only to the Dragon Ball Z resurrection of F movie, but Dragon Ball Super 2. And someone said, technically, Dragon Ball Z resurrection of F, technically, is part of Dragon Ball Z, so I could not see a reason why we couldn't have these costumes. I feel like we definitely should have these costumes, and they look absolutely amazing. Now, of course, you know, Cell, Frieza, and Piccolo don't have much costume changes or really changes at all, so I was saying, why not have Trunks have either his super costume, which I know is super unrealistic, but I love his super costume, or have his Saiyan armor. I didn't want to pitch like Xenoverse or anything like that, but having his Saiyan armor would look, ooh, would look clean in the game. Moving on to another one of the big three is going to be Naruto. Now, I couldn't really find any costumes for Naruto because he only wears the same orange jumpsuit every single episode, except when he's older or when he was fighting pain, he had the cloak, but that would kind of have to deal with some graphical issues and kind of getting the costume to flow right, especially with the transformation. So I said, I'll just do Sasuke in this video, and I think he has two different costumes that you could do base Shippuden at the start of Shippuden kind of having that outfit or having the heavy costume. I think either one be really clean in the game and it still can go with his moveset and everything he does as well. Lastly, part of the big three, I'm going to say One Piece. Now, Luffy, I don't know too much about One Piece. I have never watched One Piece, but I did look up a little bit of information, and it looks like one of his best costumes that would work really well in the game would be the whole cake arc costume. It's kind of white. It looks really dope. As far as Sanji is considered, uh, I really kind of like base kind of button-down shirt or button-up shirt, whatever you like to say. As far as that costume, I think that would look pretty cool in the game for Sanji. Uh, Boa had so many options being like, you know, dresses out the wazoo, costumes out the the wazoo but i think some of her best ones are of course her base costume from j stars or her amazon lily costume from that arc i think that'd be really damn dope to see within the game and as far as zoro here he would have the second and possibly i think the most recent costume that he has within the manga but i am not 100 percent on that so please correct me if i'm wrong but it looks pretty clean and i would not mind to see you know i wouldn't mind seeing this costume within jump force Making our way down to Bleach, man, there was a couple different costumes, especially because Ichigo has so many different forms. So, of course, I said base Ichigo, you know, the super simplistic, the one that we do know and love and started with, or his Bankai slash J-Stars version that we saw in that game. So, either one be really great to have in the game. I love the style of, you know, how Ichigo looks in Jump Force, so I, I want to keep that 110%, but why not give us, like, the base Ichigo or the Bankai Ichigo as kind of, like, a playable costume as well. Um, I said for Renji, why not have just his base costume from of course the show and then Aizen will have his base costume also from J Stars. so really really dope costume just something to be really iconic from the beginning of the series or kind of that mid portion of the series for some of these other characters now moving down to Hunter x Hunter I would say Gon is that full green costume that base costume the one that we did see in J Stars, and of course in the beginning of the series and same thing with Kalua having his you know iconic sweater with the shorts and everything of course his J Stars costume as well I feel like his Soko has a great option for a costume, being just his black alternative one from the white one he does have in Jump Force, so I would love to see that. I know a lot of people were also really, really, really bugging because they said, why have him in that costume? And I'm talking about Kuda Pika. Kuda Pika was wearing that kind of like suit outfit, and I think personally, it looks clean. I think it looks clean as hell, but a lot of you guys really wanted the hunter costume or the training suit. So either one of those outfits would be perfect in the game as well, but I do like the suit personally, but that's just me. Um, moving down as well, you're going to have the Yu Yu Hakusho. I couldn't find anything for Togoro, but I did find something for Yusuke. That base green outfit, that iconic ass green outfit. Come on, man. You, why, why is this not in the game? I mean, obviously it's in the game because it's the more recent version of these characters, but it's iconic. Why not have this in 
the game and I think it's also a customizable part for your created characters as well so be on the lookout for that next on the list is going to be my boy Deku from My Hero Academia now he doesn't have that many costume changes with Thin Jump Force and of course he is in his latest incarnation from the anime not from the manga though but from the anime being his shoot style and I would say if we could have any other costume for Deku I personally wouldn't mind the hero costume number one he had that first hero costume or the UA Festival outfit. It's just iconic to me, man. He had a great fight with Todoroki in that. He he did his first great match in that, you know, outfit. So I would like to see it in Jump Force. It'd be kind of funny to see him in the gym clothes. And last but not least, the one that I am probably the most excited to talk about. This one might be a longer section right here. But if we can get an alternate costume or skin, I don't even I don't want to say skin, I want to say just costume. I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh! Of course, we have Yugi for that character, you know, representing for that, you know, that realm. I feel like if we could have a Tem, a Tem, Pharaoh, a Tem for Yugi, that would be absolutely clean. The gold shimmering, the tan skin, just flexing. It's just, it, that's just, that's, that's what I want. That's what I want. As far as like a skin or costume for Yugi, that's the one to go for. Of course, Yugi is in his Battle City costume. He looks really, really cool. I love the design. But if we can get the Pharaoh in the place, like the legit Pharaoh, come on. You can't beat that. You can't beat the Pharaoh. But that's just some of the costumes I personally would like to see within Jump Force. So in the comments down below, guys, please tell me what alternate costumes you would like to see within Jump Force. These are just some of the mine that I could kind of find information on or that ones that I really, really did like. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Stick around. Make sure you guys are subscribed to your boy for more Jump Force news, updates, theories, discussions, all that good stuff. I will see you guys in the next video. This has been your boy Infamous and I am...